Commander, we have a priority message coming through. It looks like an encoded signal from the resistance. It's kicking off. Hey, buddy. Hello, Commander, it would seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. Yes, I will. Okay. Um. We're tracking so another thing to do. Progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. So essentially, it's telling us to hurry the hell up and make contact with the Western U.S. Is that right? But we're still at low intel, man. You know, we, we gotta do. We'll do more scan resistance HQ. That's what we've been doing. Certain missions, like counter missions, guerrilla ops, can offer a large amount of intel as a reward. Research any advent data pads. Right. How long are we from this guerrilla tactics school? Two days. So let's go to the supply Avenger drop. Plotting new course. And then we can go make contact with the US straight away once we've hopefully got a squad of five ready to go do that. Guerrilla tactics school now operational. Amazing. Okay, this is what we wanted. Man, who is inclining that? Oh my god, we've got some he superhuman strength on team. Right, new combat tactics. Is this where we buy stuff? Squad size one. We're purchasing that straight away. That only costs 50. Worth it. Lightning strike. Units gain three mobility for the first two turns of the battle. Very useful, but I'm not spending all our money on it right now. Enemies drop an additional item every time they drop loot. Yeah, that's, that's basically an investment, isn't it? What else can we get? Stay with me. Soldiers would be more likely to bleed out and die outright. <laughs> if only we'd had that for... For our guy, Grenadier, biggest boom, sharpshooter, dead shot, plus 10%. Good stuff. But the thing is, we got our fifth. So that's good. Trains rookies as a special... Oh! Oh, boy! This is what we want, isn't it? Okay, let's get... Um, let's get Jack Jones, whoever this guy is. Can undergo special training. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get him on it. Jack Jones, probably we could do with... Let's have him as our new medic, shall we? Yeah, let's have him as our new medic. Okay, good. Well, that's Research pretty cool. Proceeding as planned, Commander. I'm going to get magnetic weapons in a day. Oh, man, Advent From aren't going to know what have hit it. Advent generally deploys heavy security rather than... So we're going to finish off this and get our These magnetic weapons. will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. These magnetic-based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. Oh! We need to get Sean one of those. <laughs> Ripped it apart. Okay, uh, so things are available to be built. Mag pistol, shard, gun, magnetic rifle. Let's get... Oh, man, we could just go weapon, 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 weapon. But let's go for the quick stuff first. You'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon what as... What we want to do now is a few hey, soldiers. Commander. Valentine Hudson. Commander, additional customization options now available for our newly promoted veteran soldiers. Personal combat sims. Ah, this is what we wanted, wasn't it? 
but we don't really want to give him either of them because I doubt they're going to be well, I, I would imagine they're more useful to other people but weapon upgrade what can we put on here we've got an available slot where we could put miss shots do damage or extended magazine let's give him an extended magazine lovely that's cool I like that uh, can we do it to maybe oh, I don't know maybe don't even know We'll have a look at other people. When 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 people make sergeant, we can do that anyway. So let's continue with this supply drop and then go straight and make contact with the Western Oos. We've collected all the resources. Good. Commander, new staff available. Efforts, we have gathered additional resources. New engineers. And staff yes. At Resistance headquarters for your. Oh, use. we have to fly back to do it. That's an irritating thing. But I really do want another engineer or two. Welcome, That's our big Commander. priority. So we could get another... Oh man, he's a cool looking dude. But I don't want to spend all of our supplies on a guy that we can train ourselves. Yes, we want an engineer. Scanning bonus, rapid construction, medical... Nah, the engineer is what we want right now. 170 supplies, but so worth it. Welcome to the team, Abby White. And apparently we get a new soldier with that as well. Wait, no. We have her already. Yeah, she was the one with the anthers that we hired. Oh yeah, they're just in now. Okay, good. Well, that was nice. Uh, let's go and put her to work straight away. And then we'll go and make contact finally with the year's aid thing, you know? Right, so alien machinery. So we are going to get Abigail White excavating that. Lovely. And can we build anything? No, we cannot. Engineers can be staffed in workshops, creating unique... I mean, yeah, we want all these, but I, I don't regret any of the choices we've made so far. In terms of building the guerrilla tactics school early and whatever. Right, let's finally make Commander, contact with these. As of right now, we don't have enough intel to get a solid Ugh. bearing on the local resistance forces in that area. Well, let's get intel then, shall we? I'll learn how this game works. So, intel plus four! Much of my own research based upon this simple... Design. This is what was found inside us. I had no... Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. Good. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Like remembering a drunk night out. Simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Thanks, bro. Though this may seem disconcerting. There is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. Okay, well let's go do that! Next advent commander, we see he's getting his head held down and that ripped out of him! The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. So is this something we can build? So uh, is built soldiers may gain a bonus ability outside of their current class whenever they are promoted. Ooh. I want all of it. Right. So this is what we need to do then, isn't it? The Let's Advent do that. officers appear to be similar if not physically the same as the common advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent force. I assumed up till now the advent troopers were sort of genetically modified humans. Maybe I was wrong with that. Anyway, we're all about just getting intel right now, aren't we? And pretty much all there is about it. We've got four intel. I don't know if four intel is a lot of intel or not. Uh, Jack Jones is now a squaddy. Good for him. Commander, we just got word that the resistance hit an advent supply line. We have an opportunity to salvage some high-value materials 
Assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. Blimmin' hell yeah we will! Good job! Good job! Raid the Advent Convoy, let's go raid the hell out of it! Alright, we've got five people to take on the team, right. So, what I'd like to do ideally is take... Oh man, I kind of want to take these five, but I think... Difficulty moderate. Okay, let's take Hudson. Let's take Yoko. Let's take one Ranger. And I'm going to take Roberts because I reckon we can level him up better. And then we'll take two squaddies because we we need to be we need to be upgrading people, don't we? So let's take let's just work our way down. Oh no, wait, she's already got a squad. So let's, uh, let's take Jill Daniels and Adam Rubble. Cheer up, Adam! Right, so someone needs a med kit, Jill Daniels. Uh, you can have it if you want. Oh god, don't say we lost the med kit when... What's-his-face died, no. See, what's-his-face, I've already forgotten. No, I haven't. We can't forget Joe Johnson. 26 days he was with us. Right, so anyway, so we've got a really good sniper. Our best heavy weapons. Not our best assault, but basically our best assault. And then two rookies that can hopefully level up. That seems good to me. Let's go raid this convoy. Sky Ranger deploy. Squad green to deploy. It's bloody well done. Resistance operatives disabled an advent convoy in this region, and they sent word for us to come in and seize whatever we can. So so good of them, isn't it? Ready for us to recover some of their gear. We'll need to secure the AO and neutralize any hostiles still in the area. Easy peasy. Anything of use out of there. Do you want to know a true story? I bought a packet of chicken, fridge raiders, because I'm kind of addicted to the fridge raiders chicken. And I put them here for a snack, and I have no idea where they've gone, and I'm pretty sure I haven't eaten them already, so that is a concern. What's more of a concern is what's happening here. I've got to be honest, this doesn't look like the kind of map where Hudson is going to be too useful. I'm guessing the convoy's on the road, which means that Hudson is actually going to have a field day up there, isn't he? Let's get him over there now. That's that's the guy. Oh, he can't get there in a turn. Let's just get him up to there for now. Through you go, lad! Uh, that, this, I assume, is the right way to go. Oh, definitely we're going down there, aren't we? Okay, what's all this do, by the way? Cool Sky Ranger. Oh, it's just basically our hotkeys. So everyone else is going to head down, yeah? Adam Rubble? That's affirmative. That is indeed affirmative, sir. You are heading there. Right, obviously we want our ranger near the front. Jack Roberts. Turn four. Great, great last name. Okay. I, l I love concealment as well. As a thing, I love concealment. Uh, just allows you to be so much quicker. Jill Daniels can go near the front. I know she's our medic on this mission, and even as I see her running, I'm like, why the hell did you just send her there? But it's okay. Yoko, let's get you near the front as well, because we'll you're our best killer. And Adam Robon, I was going to have you on Overwatch, because I was still thinking in XCOM 1 mode. There's no need, is there? So, moderate alien activity. Is what we were briefed. Oh god, if they're over there. Nah, man. Nah. Nah. <laughs> okay. How about we go check out where they are? Yoko, let's move Heading you forward. To that location. Okay, you still can't. Oh, no, I was about the to introduction of human DNA. These creatures once operating under the guise of thin men now show their true form. A purely reptilian species. This no is what reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. That's what the Thin Men used to be. They were like actually aliens in... That makes so much sense, but I love the That's Thin Men. Now, I think this is the one enemy that I saw a video of before the... Or before the game came out. So I'm a bit nervous because they look pretty deadly. Affirmative. Moving on. But who knows for, theory, uh, for real. Everyone's in cover. Everyone can shoot. Jack Roberts, uh, sorry, Sean Hudson can shoot, he can shoot right at, well, right there. I've never noticed this before. It actually tells us why, why stuff is stuff. Aim, 82%, height advantage plus 20. 
Squad site, or we can go for the... I, I never knew it did this. This is really good. Let's see what the dead eye would be. 68%. So it goes from 90 to 68%. But it would kill that viper. I'd say it's worth risking, wouldn't you? Goodbye, mate. Why is he leaning against the cactus for cover? There's probably a more comfortable way you could do that, mate. So we're going to have lost um, concealment now. But that's okay. Oh, man. It's a quick one, isn't it? So... Although Dead Eye worked well, in exactly the same aspect, it didn't because we didn't do enough damage anyway. So 54%, 34%. I love that this is this is a thing. I can't believe I never noticed it before. Right, who can kill what and how and when, how well? Yoko can, well, just blow the S-H-I-T out of someone. Jack Roberts, you've only got a shotgun, mate. But apparently, well, 48% seems pretty good with a shotgun. Let's have a bash. Man! That's alright, isn't it? So hopefully we can get the finish on these two. We just need to keep our wits about us a bit. Let's have Jill Daniels give 54, 30. Let's have her finish off this guy, please, at 54. I like that we got a cutscene. I don't like that she missed. I rather, fight. rather disappointed that she missed in actual fact. Okay. Yoko, I mean, we know she can just blow someone up. 60%. 36%. Let's, let's just get rid of the advent stun chat. Are we being serious, guys? You know, big guy with big sword, no one concerned about that. You know, poisonous guy with poison and things. Again, we not concerned about that yet? Right, apparently Adam. Apparently Adam knows what's up. Good kill. Good kill. So this guy might Taking cause us some of. damage. Let's, let's see how powerful he is. Part of me is quite happy that he's alive that i'm gonna call it a thin man just so we can see what it does in a quote safe setting and what he does is try and lick us and miss okay grab failed i have seen a video where this this guy would like pull someone out of cover and towards them which can be horrible and apparently he can do that twice apparently he can what a bastard okay uh so we're gonna want to get out of this poison i would assume of course we should have known he could do that because that's what the thin men could do Oh man, actually, yeah, we don't have. We're not blessed for HP here. We've only got one use on the med kit. Right. Sean, oh, you want to finish that guy off for us? No, apparently not. Well, let's get you here. What's over there? That's a ticket. Can we? Can we at least? Oh no, now we. Can we finish him off with the pistol? I know we just said we'd never use a pistol. This guy knows what's up. There we go. I got it, right? Yeah, you did, bro. Yeah, you did. Right, let's get everyone out with poison. Hopefully, we're not going to die as a result. On the move. Oh, no. Oh, she's immune. Don't know why, but I'm glad. I thought, honestly, we had Adam Rubble on the selection there. Audit's confirmed. On the move. Eek. Hopefully, this runs out. If not, we're going to have some deaths on our hands. Uh, let's get just her up to here. Go, go, go. Oh, God, no, wait, this is on fire. Me. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's already burnt out. Okay, stop panicking, David. You're good. Uh, yeah, let's just get this guy further up as well, I'd say. On Seeing as he's our slasher. Good stuff. We good? That's the equipment we're after. Ah. We'll have to do our best to avoid destroying the gear while we secure the area. Yeah, definitely. Right. Well, Adam, let's uh, have a little bit of a jump over that there broken tree cactus thing. Jill, let's maybe have you come this side. Realise I'm running the med kit away from the people that are poisoned. Realised it after I clicked. I I need some help. Yeah, yeah, we're going to need to sort these guys out. I'm going to use the med kit on Adam because I Yoko has twice him. the HP. Not quite twice, but more. And we do definitely only have the one use, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay. Right, we'll use it on Adam. Headed there now. Hopefully I won't regret that decision. Settle down. In the old You're game, fine. this would cure poison. And it looks like it has now because there's no green stuff around him. I can only view that as a positive. Jack Blue Roberts. Guards. Where are you going? Hmm. 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 
got to be an enemy in that there building, hasn't there? Yoko, cover on, on that way. cactus. These two can run the objective. Oh, could we see someone there? No, apparently not. On Overwatch. All set. Adam, mate, get yourself get up there down. and get us that gear. Oh, he just shows up as Valentine now. That's pretty cool. Right, anyway, long watch, please. Thank you, mate. I don't like what's happening with her. In fact, I might get her out of here if she doesn't get better soon by herself. Right, have a peek in that window, mate, and fire your shotgun at anything that moves. Apparently it's safe. So where are these enemies, then? Uh, let's... Let's just get her there. We might have to withdraw her. Wouldn't be the end of the world. Overwatch. Uh, I guess we'll just move this guy up here. If there's nothing Rolling. in the building, we should be safe. Jill Daniels will get her going down this part of the road, I would think, is a good idea. Maybe to there. On the move. Good stuff. Oh, no, bad stuff. The, the drums have started. Oh, no. We have possibly tried to cover more ground than we might have had the manpower for at any one time. But Adam Rubble's going to make it okay when he kills that advent trooper at 46% or hurts that guy at 46% or, yeah, let's, let's just try and minimise the amount of things that are going to shoot weapons at us this turn. Great stuff. Okay, that's what we needed. It's down. Nice one, Adam. Oh, don't tell me you can't see that guy, Sean. Don't tell me you can't see that guy. Apparently, you can't see that guy. Surely you should see that guy. That's a clear sight line there, isn't it? Okay, right. Well, let's just get in there then. If you say so. Yeah, I do say so. Oh, now you can see the guy. Well, have a hunker for now. Holding position. This turn might hurt us, if I'm Have honest. Oh, God, there's even more of them. Well, Sean's in a good position. Jack Roberts is in an awful position. But Yoko's going to make everything better by killing this dude. Oh, yeah! Oh, get in there! Lovely stuff. Kill confirmed. Yeah, yeah, it was. Promotion earned if she lives. Eek! Oh, God! Oh, God! So this is what happens then. I preferred them better than when they were human things. Uh, okay. Ah! Oh! He missed. Wouldn't it be cool if Jack Roberts just jumped over and they had a sword fight? Of course it would be. Sword fights are the coolest things in the world. She's a bit of a... What is she doing? Don't, 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 don't shoot through the bloody... No, what are you doing? We're trying to salvage this loot, man. Luckily, she didn't hurt any of it. Right, let's see if we can slash that. No, wait. Why do you want to slash that? Slash the blooming advent guy. Was, it, was that a bomb on there that we're going to have a sword fight over? That's pretty Hollywood, isn't it? Oh! Oh, I wish we could have seen that. <laughs> Thanks, camera angle. Uh, what have we got? Hail tri oh, hair trigger. Weapon adds a small chance any shot will not cost an action. Man, that would be really good for Sean Hudson, actually. Advent data pad. This is what we want. Yes, really good. Really, really good. That helps us with intel, doesn't it? Got some good here. Right, so Jill Daniels. Probably not a lot you can do right now, is there? Yeah, you're bound. Okay, well, let's try and unbind you. Sean might be pretty adept at doing that. 100% to hit. Dead eye at 75%. 6 to 8 or 4 to 6. I'm going to say this is better because it's not going to kill it anyway most likely. And it should just unbind. Nice shoot in there. And this I would assume is us unbound. Yep. Yeah. Right. Jill, I guess you deserve the finisher if you want it. 85%. Please don't blow up in poison like the old thin men used to do. It didn't! And we killed it! She's still out of cover, though, and that is a worry. Adam Rubble is 
Oh, man, where's a good position? I'm scared that that's a bomb. I want to get him away from the bomb. I want to get Jack away from the bomb as well. Everyone needs to get away from the damn bomb. And we're over... Oh, no, wait, we can see. So what have we got here? 46 tent on an Advent officer. Or an Advent trooper at 45%. I'd rather kill the Advent trooper. Because it's one less thing to shoot at us. Why would we want to blow up that? I guess it's just hoping we won't see. Right, please. Okay, promising. Nah, okay, well... Jill Daniels might not be in for a good time here. Could use some ammo over here. And we're running low on ammunition, apparently. Okay, oh god, yeah, this is going to be a bit minging. Uh, ah, okay, bye mate. Arguably would have been better off running to cover and not killing that. My god, our guys need to stop panicking and open their eyes, maybe. Okay. Not sure what happened there. <laughs> the Maybe that's what happens to him when he panics. Oh, okay. He's going to have a little run around. Well. Okay. I thought he was low on ammo anyway. So that's a great use of whatever the hell there. Sure, we're going to need your cool head, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I was going to say, I don't want Jack Roberts dying. He's proving to be a pretty good guy for us. Menace 1-5. Watch those supply yeah, we know, man. If you destroy them, there won't be anything left for us to recover. Okay, Yoko's not doing secure. well either. This guy's panicking. Oh, she's still panicking. <laughs> Looks like it's up to you, Sean. What do we got here? 64% on the officer. Or on the trooper. Let's just get the kill, yeah? This is this is one we need. And we got it. Good man. Good man. I love his angry face when he does kills. That's it. Yes, that is it. And I love how happy he is when he makes a kill as well. Right, Jack Roberts is still good. We can't slash this turn. And that Advent Trooper's about... He's about here, isn't he? That Advent Officer. I know I called him an Advent Trooper, but that was a that was a silly mistake of mine. Right, so let's get... Let's get him... Oh, man. Right, let's just get him here. Moving to designated hunkered, and then hopefully slash next turn. When this guy makes himself known. And then Yoko, I really want to evac, but she's got to stop panicking first. So it's on her. Uh, that was a... That's going to be a big explosion, isn't it? In a minute. Come on, Advent officer. Make yourself known. Maybe you got caught in that explosion. Why can't we see? Camera angles. <laughs> okay, right. Well, he's... You know what? We asked him to make it... Oh... <laughs> He's so nearly not in a good way. Panic removed, though. So there we go. Uh, Sean, if you can do this for us, I'd appreciate that greatly. I can't believe Joe Johnson had more kills than Sean. Man, 56%. It's not thrilling. But he's hit less. And he's hit this one and made the kill beautifully. Is that it? I definitely got that one. I love how happy he is with himself. Status confirmed. All oh, fuck. The area is secure. Okay. So we got the loot. Two wounds? Yoko was wounded. Oh, and I guess Adam Robert was as well, wasn't he? Even though he healed that one. Man, okay, so we lost another person. It's not good, but Sean, Sean did pretty well. So, deal most damage, Sean. Most attacks, Adam. Most under fire, Jill, but she's dead now. Move furthest, Jack. Good job, guys. Good job. Decent work. Decent work. Back to the office for tea and medals, I think. Yeah, very nice. We lost someone. It always sucks. It's war. It happens. And I think the promotions we've earned with everyone else is going to make up for it. I really like Jack's performance. Jack did very well there. Especially finding us that intel on that slasher dude. Really what we needed. But anyway, for now, another death, man. Another death. Gravely wounded? Man, it was only a little bit of poison, lads. Oh, boy. Okay, well. Suppressional demolition. Unleash a volley of bullets that your target's cover, significantly damaging and destroying it. Well, we can do that with the rockets anyway. So I think suppression's probably better there. Okay. Nine kills in six. It always feels like Hudson's better. I don't know why. 
And this guy, that was his first kill against that slasher. I guess in the first mission, he just damaged those people who never actually scored a kill. And this guy's going to be a ranger as well. I think we got enough rangers now. How long are these guys out for then? Let's find out in a minute. Really good loot. Really, really good stuff there. Very, very pleasing. Yep. Yeah, I imagine you're quite happy. Yes, lovely. Right, well, let's go back to the armory and have a look at our soldiers. 21 days and 10 days. Man, oh man, that's that's no good. Might we want more people? We've lost two now. The fact that I can't even scroll here is a little concerning. So, we've got three rangers, two grenadiers, two specialists, two sharpshooters. So, if we get one more of each of the not rangers, and then these two can just be what they want... Hopefully that's fine. I think we probably want to recruit sooner than later. But the memorial is getting bigger. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Big shame. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode now on that sullen note. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.